Welcome to another class from the Lanark Lung Health Program, Lanark Renfrew Lung Health Program. Uh, this is a gentle fit class. Today we are going to use uh, light hand weights. If you don't have any, you can always use water bottles or cans of food or don't use any resistance at all. Just do the motions. Um, thank you for watching it. Um, and uh, please leave us any comment or feedback that you may have. We will try to accommodate uh, as much as we can. Make sure that if you are exercising and you feel any unusual symptoms for you, such as dizziness, chest pain, acute shortness of breath, stop what you're doing. Make sure the symptoms are going away before you go back to it. And if you are worried about those symptoms, make sure that you contact your healthcare provider to uh, get more uh, advice on what to do. Without further ado, we will get started with our warm up. So seated in your chair comfortably, turning your neck over to one side, slowly bringing your chin down to center chest and up to the other shoulder. We go back and forth. One more time to each shoulder and back to center. Arms are at the sides. Take a deep breath in through the nose. As you breathe in, lift one arm up. Breathing out, the arm comes down. We alternate each side, breathing in up, breathing out down. Good time to practice your pursed lip breathing in through the nose, out through pursed lips. Warming up our shoulder joints. One more on each side. Bending those elbows. Two more. Okay, keeping the elbows about 90 degrees, let's do some circles with the wrists. A little cracking here and there is fine, as long as it's not causing acute pain. Go the other way. Last one. We're going to bring the arms up at the side. We're going to shift our weight from side to side, kind of bending a little sideways, getting a bit of a motion going in the spine, warming up those back muscles. One more to each side and we come back to center arms are coming down moving on to our lower body you're gonna lift one knee up step over to the side step up and back to center we keep doing that on that side sort of a motion to get in and out of a car or in and out of a bathtub
one more. And we do the same with the other hip, knee up to the side, back up and center. One last time. Next move is heel digs. I find it more comfortable to sit a bit forward on my chair. You reach forward, touch the heel, and bring the foot back. So heel touch forward and back we alternate each leg. One more with each side. Perfect. And lastly, we're going to do some ankle circles, lifting one foot up and circling that ankle. Switching direction. Switching to the other foot circling that ankle go the other way excellent putting that foot down take a sip of water if you need to we are going to move on to our cardio portion next Remember to take your time, go at your own pace. If you need to stop and rest, you do so. If you need to do the exercise sitting down, that's also an option for all of the exercises as we're going along. So standing, if you can, behind the chair, holding on for support, we start with marching on the spot. We're aiming to do each of these exercises in the cardio portion for about a minute. We want to increase our heart rate a little bit, our breathing rate a little bit, so that we get into that cardio training zone, so that we can improve our fitness, or at least maintain our fitness during that time of being stuck in our houses. If you want, you can definitely add some arm swings. If that's too much, you just stick to either arm swings only or marching. Almost there. Three, two, and we stop. Bring those feet wide. So wider than your shoulders, that's gonna feel a little awkward, but we're marching. Again, feet are wide, working the muscles slightly differently. Remember your pursed lip breathing, in through the nose, out through pursed lips. Making that breath out slightly longer than your breath in helps to get rid of that trapped air. You can add arm swing here too. Three, two, and we stop. Feet are back to hip width apart. We're going to start with side to side. So that's opening wide, together, wide, together. At your own pace, holding on for support as needed or letting go of the chair if you want. So 
So we're going to stay here for a little bit longer because we're going to add on to this motion. Add a little bit of upper body movement as available to you. So if you want, you're going to bring your hands to your shoulders. Your elbows are pointing at the side. Open and close. Open and close. Again, working on that coordination. If that's too much, only do the arms or only do the legs or take a break if you need to. Almost there. Couple more. Last one. Perfect. We're going to stand to the side and we're going to do high knees marching. Only as high as you're able to. Or seated, you could do that just the same. One more each leg, facing your chair. We're gonna do a bit of upper body work now. Arms are in front, shoulder height. We go over and under, over and under. As fast as you're able to. I feel the burn in the shoulders. One more over and under. Perfect. We do the front crawl. So pretend you're swimming and do the front crawl again. Really good cardio whenever the upper body is involved. I don't care what your swimming stroke looks like. I know mine is not terrible. It's a good thing we're not in actual water. few more strokes. You can do it. Let's do one more on each arm. Excellent. You can grab a seat, have a sip of water. We're going to move on to our strength component next. So we're going to use our light weights if you have them. Starting with the elbows at 90 degrees at the sides. As you breathe in, you're going to lift those elbows up to shoulder height. Breathing out, slowly come back down. Breathing in up, breathing out down.
two more. Coming forward on your seat. For the for one of the only time I'm going to ask you to kind of slouch in your seat so you got some space behind you. I want you to lean back. Your upper body is against the back of the chair. We're bringing the weights in front. We're opening to the side and back together. Chest fly. Breathing out. Breathing in. Two more. Bringing your weights just above the knees. We're going to do some chair sit-ups. So as you breathe in, you're going to lean back, touch the chair, breathing out, tightening your stomach to lift you up. Breathe in back. Breathe out, come up. Three more times. Last one. Perfect. Put one of your weights aside. We're going to work the back of the arm, the tricep muscle group. If you're able to, bring your arm up slowly, uh, support before the elbow and slowly bend the elbow and straighten up making sure your weight is turned sideways so that you're not going to bump your head. If that is uncomfortable for you, bring your arm up to the side and lengthen that elbow. So straighten the elbow on the side so only the lower part of the arm is moving. You can decide which position you like better. last one and we do the same with the other arm supporting that elbow slowly bending and straightening or elbow at the side and straightening the arm lifting back I'm gonna do the other half in the other position so you can see elbow up and lengthen last one perfect let's put that other weight down we're going to do some leg exercise we're going to stand up behind our chair starting with the squats so i want your feet wider than your hips holding on for support lowering bending the knee only as low as you can go sticking your hips back and straightening up on the side Hips come out, back stays straight. Knees do not go past your toes. Your weight is on your heels. It's an exercise to strengthen the glutes, the hamstrings, and the quads. Couple more. last one feet can come back to hip width apart lifting those heels up and down two more Excellent. Remember that exercise we did with the hip stepping over in and out of the car? 
We're going to do that standing up. I'm going to push my chair a bit to the side so you can see better. Lifting your knee up, stepping over, knee up, and back to center. We do just one side, and then we'll do the other. This is also good to help with balance. We sometimes have to step over things. One more. Out and in. And we switch to the other side. Knee up, step over, up and back. in and out. Last one. Perfect. That is it for the strength. Now we stretch. You can be behind your chair for support starting with the calf. Front knee bent, back leg straight, feet are flat, pointing forward, holding that stretch for about 30 seconds. Breathing should be slowly coming back to normal. Switching to the other leg. Coming back to stretch the front of the leg. Another option uh, is to put one foot on your chair and lean in, so bending that knee a little bit, stretching the top of the leg. Releasing same thing with the other leg, leaning in. And releasing, coming to a seated position. Let's do some upper body stretch. So hand behind your neck, push on that elbow a little bit with the other hand. We're stretching the tricep and side of the trunk. Releasing that arm, same thing with the other arm, hand behind the neck, pushing on that elbow. Releasing a few shoulder rolls, releasing that tension. Go the other way. Excellent. That will conclude our class for today. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, thanks for watching. Take care.